Hi, welcome to my tiny home. This tiny home was built by Seattle Tiny Homes in 2017. It's a total of 332 square feet. This is the living room. And up here is one of the lofts. All of the windows in the tiny home are double pane and they are weather, they are um, LED certified. Moving to the kitchen, this is the eating bar. You could fit two people here at the eating bar. And here is the kitchen with very lovely hand-built cabinets. They have the slow, they're built, built with wood. They have the slow, clo soft clothes, which is great for being on the road. They'll stay in place. Things won't be uh, jostled and things won't open up. This is the propane stove and oven. It does have three burners on the stove top. The tile backsplash, which does go uh, the perimeter of the kitchen counter. The farmhouse sink. Stainless steel. This adjusts for uh, ease of rinsing out the sink and dishwashing. This big window here. Um, in case of fire, you could exit through this window. Uh, moving back to the stove for a moment. Above the stove, we do have a hood and fan. We also have a light with two different strengths. Two different strengths on the fan as well. There's the light above the stove. There's a cabinet up above. And above that, we have the mini split built by Hotspot Energy. It is heat and air conditioning. It could be converted to solar power. It currently is electric. Just scooting over here back to the loft that was above the living room. As you can see, there's windows on both sides. Great for a good cross breeze. There's the other window. And there is a hand-built wooden ladder, hinged ladder, that allows you access to that loft. Scooting back down here to the living room. The little stove there is an electric stove. Um, you can keep it or not. Uh, it, it is part of the tiny home. You can take it with you. Uh, the TV also is available to be kept with the home. On this wall here, we do have a fire extinguisher, which is still good. And I do have CO2 alarms. Okay, now moving towards the other end of the tiny, I'll show you, we've got built-in staircase that goes to the second loft. Plenty of storage within these, underneath the stairs. Lots of shelving and storage. This closet here under the microwave, I used as my clothing closet. Currently it has um, an extra bag of coconut coir that you could use for the compost toilet. And the box here is a second stool that matches the first one uh, that you saw earlier in the video. But it's a good size it does have a wooden dowel uh, for hanging clothing you could also put shelving in it above that is the microwave which stays with the house one more bit of shelving under the stairs and then we have the refrigerator and there's storage underneath the refrigerator another cabinet the freezer's on the bottom, refrigerator's on top. And then slowly moving past that, we have the 
work from home desk, which also has a nice large window that could be used as egress if needed. Here's the built-in desk. And the built-in drawers. And there's another space there at the bottom of the drawers for storage. Now across from that, we have the pantry, kitchen pantry right next to the sink there. They're all, there are three shelves in this top part of the pantry. They all pull out completely. And recess back in. These are all wood. That's the first one. The lower pantry also has two shelves. And then the lower part of it is uh, goes all the way back also for great storage. Both of those drawers also pull completely out. And just under the sink, kitchen sink here, we have more cabinets and drawers. Heading back towards the stove there and the other cabinets built in at the end of the, of the eating bar. Okay, now come with me to, there's a small storage area here. This is where the Renai uh, on-demand hot water heater is, Run off, runs off of propane. And this is the ladder, the wooden ladder that uh, is hinged and is for access to that first loft that I showed you in the first part of the video. There's also access underneath that gives you access to any of the uh, pipes, plumbing, etc. underneath there, there's a little hatch. All right, now to the bathroom. Now we're in the bathroom. We have a compost toilet built by Airhead. It has two compartments, one for liquids, the other for solids, and that's what the coconut coir in the cabinet uh, fills the, partially fills the, the dry tank of the composting toilet. If you look behind here, you'll notice that it is actually plumbed to be converted to a flushing toilet, should that be a possibility for you. Um, the Airhead toilet has um, an air flow system, and that's what that plug in there is for. It runs constantly, um, aerating the dry toilet, dry part of the toilet. And then above here, we have another window. Moving around to the other side of the bathroom, we have our electric dryer up above, front loading, and below that, we have our top load washer. These are both by, built by Hire, I think that's how you pronounce it, H-A-I-E-R. I've used them for seven years and they've been awesome. Dryer is a little bit slow to um, dry things, so I do smaller loads. Right next to that, we have the bathroom sink. And beneath the bathroom sink and countertop, we have another great bit of storage. Behind the mirror, there's also some storage. Three shelves of storage. And then I'm moving around here. We have the full tub and shower combo. There's the full tub. And the shower head. 
And up in the top corner here, we have the um, ventilation fan, which is set on a timer. It goes off for 20 minutes every hour, 24 hours a day. That's to maintain proper ventilation in the tiny. All right. And just slowly looking back out from the bathroom down to where the living space is. Now we're gonna walk slowly up the stairs and show you the main, um, show you the main loft. Both lofts are large enough for a queen size mattress. When I lived here for seven years, my son was nine at the time I moved in and he had the first loft that I showed you. And then this was my loft. This loft has one, two nice windows over on this side and then a sliding window on this side. It has lighting up above. There are plenty of outlets along the walls here. And there's a built-in shelving system going around here. There's the shelving, built-in shelving. Now you can see the full space of the first loft that's accessible by a ladder. And then looking down from above at the top of the steps, there's the living room with the lovely windows. In all, we have 11 windows. It gives a lot of lovely natural light. This is the outside of the tiny home. It's 24 feet. At the top, at the highest peak, it's 13 feet high. This is one end end with the towing mechanism and propane tanks. This is what I consider the front. You can see all the lovely windows on this side. Those are the first two windows there on the lower part of the living room windows, followed by the kitchen window, and then the windows in each loft. Wheels on this side. Water connection and gray water exit. The electricity, the panel, moving around to the far end, the rest of the mini split apparatus. Most of the tiny is metal siding. There's one area on this side and then on the front of the house that is reclaimed barn wood. Let's get around slowly here. On this side we have all of the upstairs windows on the other side of the lofts. the bathroom window and the window over the work from home desk. Wheels on this side.
and the front door sunshiny yellow this is also a weather efficient energy efficient door it does have a key lock it also has a keypad for combination that's about it let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching the video